don't participate in your own oppression. So the uh, first uh, headline I have for you today, guys, is that there was a man and he was silly enough to think he could, well, I suppose there'll be many people actually um, who think they can smuggle drugs into the Cork prison and to other prisons around Ireland and many of them are quite successful in doing so but unfortunately not all of them are um, and interestingly enough I was reporting on another story last week uh, where cannabis oil was being smuggled in for somebody who needed it for um, medicinal reasons I suppose but in this case it was um, a, a young Waterford man who uh, came up with a harebrained plan to carry cannabis and tablets into Cork prison when visiting um, and he was uh, yesterday ordered to do 200 hours of community service over his crime this was given to him by Judge Olin Keller who said the, uh, to the accused uh, the only reason you are not going to prison for this is your age and I really think you did not realise the seriousness of bringing drugs into prison as well as the community service the judge uh, imposed a six-month suspended jail term. I, I would be very honest here and thinking that maybe the real reason the judge actually didn't arrest him is because, you know, all the guy was doing was trying to sneak uh, some, smuggle some drugs into the prison. Like, it's, it's not a big deal, to be fair. Um, the, the drugs going into the prison probably does the, the prison's... Uh, wardens and, and things like that uh, a, a service because at least the uh, the prisoners are able to kind of be a bit more relaxed and you know a bit more sedated <laughs> depending on what the tablets are that he's bringing in there but if it's good cannabis and if it's going to be able to keep the people happy in there that's only going to make the whole uh, environment a bit safer i suppose for the prison warden so in fairness the guy was actually doing a service by sneaking her in there um, even some of the prison wardens and, and, and there's other people in there working within the prison system who are complicit in this and they help to, to get the drugs in there. It's not always just smuggled in by people uh, such as this individual. Um, but his uh, solicitor anyway, Frank Bottomer, said the probation report was favourable to the young man and uh, the prison drugs dog sniffed out the stash and the visitor was prosecuted on drugs charges to, to which he pleaded guilty. Um, so obviously this guy was after going into the visiting room, he was trying to sneak the drugs in via the visiting room and he was going to pass them to somebody inside there once he was meeting with them. But obviously the old uh, drug dog was able to smell the cannabis. But if the guy, it's interesting here, if, he, if the individual hadn't actually concealed cannabis with the drugs, the dog would have been none the wiser. Um, because the dog isn't actually trained to smell um, Valium uh, type tablets, you know, the, the al Alprozolam. Um, so the dog isn't trained to actually sniff that out. He's trained to smell cannabis. Um, so that that's probably the biggest mistake the individual uh, risked. Um, so that, that that's unfortunate. And and I would actually agree with uh, that kind of um, thing then as well. You know, when I was in prison myself, um, I I was offered uh, all sorts of tablets. The very first person I was actually offered tablets from going into prison was actually a nurse. The nurse, upon being admitted to the general population, actually said, hey, do, do you need anything? Can I get you something to help you sleep? Um, do you know, do, do, is your mood need regulation? <laughs> um, do you know, it was, it was very interesting that, that that was my first encounter with being offering drugs. And uh, it was only on the second day inside of there once I was actually in with the general population. Then I was offered more drugs on the prison yard. Um, I knew a, pers a person there in the yard, and, and he knew me, and he came over, and he's like, "Oh, Jesus, it's a surprise to see you in here." And blah, blah, blah. and do you know, it's not, it's not a kind of a person I would have stopped to have said hi on the road. Um, I suppose because he was in there for robbery and shit like that. Um, but he was saying to me, he was like, "Oh yeah, if you want, I can get you this, I can get you that, like you know." And uh, yeah, it was actually hard enough to get cannabis inside there. He was probably able to get a bit of hash. He said, "All right," um, but but to get get uh, cannabis wasn't uh, that easy at all. Um. The solicitor anyway said that um, about the individual and his attempt that this was not a very successful attempt um, to do what he should uh, to do what he should not have been doing anyway. Um, this was an idea he came up with himself. His friend was in Cork prison. He decided to bring him a present. His friend was not expecting to get this present. Um, yeah, that that's what you're going to be saying when you're in there anyway. And um, the prison officer probably realised straight away what was going on. He admitted this rather be a harebrained idea. Judge Kelleher said it was uh, so harebrained, I don't know how he thought he could get away with it. Um, the 21-year-old from um, Waterford pleaded guilty to the charges of conveying drugs to Cork Prison, namely 50 euro worth of cannabis and 25 tablets in total. So 
So he, he gets a suspended sentence in this and he also gets, has to do 200 hours community service. So he's gotten a conviction. So while the judge, you know, took pity on him because of his age, he showed no pity there at all, you know, because now this individual has a criminal conviction for the rest of his life. Um, he's caught with possession of illegal drugs. That's fucking damaging outside of whatever else he might have got convictions for there, you know, whatever conviction you get for trying to what is it, convey drugs to a prisoner. Um, but yeah, that that's what prohibition is causing in our society. Um, you know, if, if individuals were not having to go to prison for petty things like possession of cannabis and stuff like that, there might be individuals then having to sneak it in there to them. Um, you know, if cannabis was legal and regulated, you know, and a person was prescribed it or needed it for whatever reason, maybe it might be afforded to them inside in prisons. 